Okay, now, before we get a hecklers in the crowds trying to tell me that's not a real geyser, I can assure you folks, even if we don't throw this effect in there, the geyser would still go off naturally, usually between 24 hours and 72 hours, but trying to predict when exactly is rather impossible. So we give Mother Nature a bit of a helping hand, whisper sweet nothings into her ear, so customers and tourists such as yourselves can see one of her natural beauties. There we go. Ain't that pretty? <laughs> now, when the geyser erupts, they usually last for about 45 minutes and up to an hour, so you've got more than enough time to take your pictures and your videos, guys. But of course, the best part is right at the beginning when it reaches its highest point. Now when the geyser starts to erupt, it'll usually teeter at about 5 meters height in the beginning, and usually retires up to 10 to 15 meters. Now depending on how much pressure and water is underneath us, it can also retire up to 20 meters. But it's up to the geyser herself to show us how high she's going to go. But like I said in the beginning, the geyser looked nothing like this. It was a hot spring. Now the prisoners at the time thought they would have a bit more fun with the geyser or the hot spring. So, taking the rocks from the surrounding area, they packed it around the mouth of the hot spring and kind of created a rough cone shape that we see here today. Now, over the years, as the water trickles over the rocks, it deposits a mineral called silica. Now, as the silica hardens, it gives us the white cone shape we see here today. And every day, as it does so, it makes it harder and stronger for years to come. Right. Now, getting back to the history lesson, around about 1903, or Ranfurly, New Zealand's 15th Governor General came down to the prison to see how it was going with his lovely young daughter, Lady Constance Knox. While they were here, Lady Constance Knox had the opportunity of christening the geyser, and being the very lovely lady and beautiful lady that she was, she named it after herself. <laughs> That's where we get the name from. Okay, now there might be a bit of a breeze in the air today, guys, so if any of the water does float into the crowds, don't worry. By the time it reaches you, just be a nice, warm, sober feeling, so no need to worry. However, if they are tourists and you know, backpackers in the crowds, come sit in the front, guys. We've got the hot water, we've got the soap. All you need is a towel for afterwards, okay? Right, so me personally, like I said, already had a shower today. So before the geyser goes off, I'm going to bolt it. But before I go, if you guys are going back into the park afterwards, just reminding you that it is a geothermal area. So please stay on the footpaths provided for you. It is for your protection. And if you have jandals or flip flops on, and you've got other shoes, clothes shoes, please wear them, because it can be quite slippery in the park itself. Okay, guys? Well, on behalf of myself again, and Waitapu, welcome to the Lady Knox Geyser, and enjoy your stay. Take care. Bring a video, or... Um video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
take off. <laughs> Thank you.